Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. We'll be taking a look at the key features of calculated fields and calculated items in a pivot table. If you are yet to see the previous video, the link is in the description box below. And if you are yet to click the subscribe button, please click it now. Thank you. So back to our topic, calculated fields are formulas that refer to other fields in the pivot table while calculated items refer to other items within a field. Remember, fields are the column headers in the source data, while items are the categories in each field. Let's insert a pivot table to illustrate this. Go to the Insert tab and insert a pivot table. Let's place it in a new worksheet. The column headers, which are referred to as fields, are right here. To know the items in a field, let's drag products to rows. Here you can see that within the product field, we have 12 items. Now drag sales to values. Excel has summed the sales of each product and this is what the calculated field will be based on. Let's do some quick formatting. Edit the name. Ensure it's not identical to what you have on the fields list. Right click, select number format to format the numbers. If you are yet to see the introduction video, I encourage you to do so, so you can understand the basics. Now let's take a look at calculated fields. When you want to perform calculations on fields in a pivot table, you need to insert a calculated field. To calculate the profit margin by product, click anywhere in the pivot table, go to the analyze tab, Click Fields, Items and Set and then click Calculated Field. Type a name, let's call it Gross Margin and then hit the Tab key to move to the formula box. In the Fields list, select the field you want to perform the calculation on. We need Sales and Cost. To select Sales, you double click Sales Value, add the minus sign and double click Cost. The formula is displayed in the Formula tab. Click OK. The calculated field appears as a new field in the pivot table and it appears in the pivot table fields list. You can see it here in the values area as well. You can change the name and format the values. You can use the calculated field to perform other calculations. To calculate the gross percentage margin, click anywhere in the pivot table, go to the Analyze tab, click Fields, Items and Set, and then click Calculated Field. Type the name Gross Margin and then hit the Tab key to move to the formula box. Double click Gross Margin, add the division sign and double click Sales. Click OK. There you go. Let's format the values. You can use calculated fields to perform more complex formulas. Let's assume the company wants to pay a commission of 5% on sales above 50,000. To calculate that, we'll make use of the if function in the calculated fields. Click anywhere in the pivot table, go to the analyze tab, click fields item and set, and then click calculated field. Type the name, commission, and then hit the tab key to move to the formula box. Type if, open bracket, double click sales, greater than 50,000, then calculate 5% multiplied by sales, double click sales again, otherwise, Let's put a comma there, zero. So this is saying that if sales is greater than 50,000, then calculate 5% of the sales value. Otherwise, make it zero. Click OK. There you go. If you want to check how much each agent earned, you can move the field to the rows area. It is flexible. To modify a calculated field, go to the Analyze tab, click Fields, Items and Set, 
and then click calculated field. From the drop down list of names, select the formula you want to modify, edit the name or the formula. Let's change the commission rate to 10%. Click OK. There you go. Now to delete, go to the drop down list of names, select the formula you want to delete, click the delete button and OK. There you go. Now that we've gotten the hang of calculated fields, let's take a look at calculated items. When you want to perform calculations within a field in a pivot table, you have to insert a calculated item. We have sales by product and region here. The regions are in clusters. Cluster A is east and west. Cluster B is north and south. However, we do not have this information in our source data. Now to determine sales by cluster, we can insert calculated items using these steps. Select a cell that contains any item in the pivot table. I'll go with West. Go to the Analyze tab, click Fields, Items and Set, and then click Calculated Item. Type a name, Let, let's call it Cluster A, and then hit the Tab key to move to the formula box. In the fields list, you see that region is highlighted and the four items in the region field are here in the items list. So double click list, add the plus sign and double click west. The formula is displayed in the formula tab. Click OK. The new item has been added to the pivot table. Let's repeat the same process for cluster B. Analyze tab. Calculated item, cluster B, double click north, then add south. Click OK. The new item has been added to the pivot table. Note that calculated items do not appear in the pivot table field list. Now take a look at this. The subtotals have increased because the new items are being added with the other items. So I'll remove individual items so that the correct total will be displayed. Key points to note. Calculated items cannot be moved to the filters area. However, you can move it between rows and columns. In addition, you cannot add a calculated item to a grouped field. You can modify or delete the value of a calculated item right here in the pivot table. Remove an item, press enter, or type it directly. Note that you can modify the values of other items in the pivot table. If you try to, you'll get this error message. You can also modify a calculated item by going to the Analyze tab, click Fields, Items and Sets, and then click Calculated Item. From the drop-down list of names, select the formula you want to modify. Edit the name of the formula. Let's change cluster B to North, South, and West. Click OK. Now to delete, go back to the drop down list of names. Select the formula you want to delete. Click Delete. And OK. There you go. You can create a list of all formulas in your pivot table if you've used calculated items and calculated fields. All you need to do is select any cell in the pivot table, go to the Analyze tab, click Fields, Items and Sets, and then click List Formulas. A new sheet is inserted into the workbook with a list of formulas in your pivot table. Thanks for watching. Please leave your questions and feedback in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.